Auntie. Yes, Auntie. You're done. Nancy, now that you are done with your ace for exams, what plans do you have in mind? Auntie, I want to, to help you with your business so that you don't get exhausted like you have been. But you know very well, I no longer have sources of income. Hmm? And the landlord will soon throw us out of this house. Figure out what will happen. Home time is still favorable to us. No, aren't you making me so worried? By the way, where did you get the money to play that here? I don't remember giving you any single coin. Hmm. Remember the, the last time Uncle Pat came here? He gave me some money, so I used some to plait my hair and the rest to paint my nails. Yeah? <laughs> okay, that's good. But remember, you have grown into a mature lady. So, think wisely. Okay? Okay, Auntie. Okay, you can go. That's all what I wanted to say. Thank you, Auntie. Mm.
will be fine. Okay, don't. Make sure she takes some medicine in time and give her a well-balanced meal. Okay, doctor. Yes. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, will be fine. Thank you so very much, sir, for whatever I've done. Uh, take her this money, if not that, go and buy her whatever she wants, okay? Thank you very much, Yes, sir. but don't forget, as we've said, our program, huh? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, welcome. prepared some breakfast for you so you can't have yourself and you feel like eating. Oh yeah to my daughter. And I'll tell you when I get back.
Nancy. Oh. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. Where are you coming? Where is it? How are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Where are you going here now? This is my office. I sure but I'm working with you. It will depend on your decision, I think. If you feel like but you already know the decision is a yes. It could be a yes, but uh, things don't work like that. You have to first do something, then. Hmm. What do you mean by When I say, stay now. You think you don't know what I'm talking about? Hmm? Stay now. I see. Please. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Nancy, is that you? Talk to me, see you're crying. What's the matter? I'm sorry, Aunt. What is it? I didn't want this to happen. <laughs> what didn't you mean to happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I reached there, he passed himself in <laughs> What? He left me. Oh my God. How could he do such a thing? And what did you need the job for? <laughs> did he even use protection? This is all my fault. I wouldn't have done all this. Please forgive me. Yes, in with your jokes. Hey, by the way, you know my daughter, she has now grown so well. She's big. I want to test her courage and see how far she can go. <laughs> how are you going to test her courage? Eh, very soon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend that I'm sick. Mm -hmm. Since I'm not working, mm -hmm. that will drive her. I <laughs> can't look for solution to treat her sick aunt. To make matters worse, Uncle Patrick was my other man. Since I was HIV positive, I couldn't get someone else to love me. Apart from him, whom we share the same HIV status. I'm 
I'm sorry, my daughter. And you tell me you're a joke, you. See how you've ruined my life with your stupid brains. I'm so sorry. All I ever wished for you was a good life. <laughs> good life, yet you've ruined it. <laughs> Let's find a place in your heart to forgive me, Nancy. Nancy, my daughter. Nancy. I thought I was making a way for her. Hey, I'll do it myself. I hope she will never forgive me. Oh, God. Please have mercy on my bed. I'm so sorry. I've killed my daughter. I've killed my daughter. Now, I'm so glad you came as soon as possible. We are going to introduce you to Pep and make sure I take one tablet per day. Huh? Yeah. That will help you to overcome the virus. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome.